Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. It's weird, some every now and then, as I say those words, let me bore you to sleep. It kind of um, gives me a little internal giggle. Because it's kind of weird, isn't it? I'm basically saying, I'm really boring. <laughs> it's a strange kind of... Uh, a strange introduction to yourself, possibly. So, uh, uh, so starting another week. Um, it's Monday, the twentieth of January, two thousand and twenty. So, does your does, does a week start Monday or does a week start Sunday? Because on some uh, like calendars or some uh, like the stats of my podcast, they start the week on Sunday. For me, the week starts Monday. It always has. Because the weekend is Saturday and Sunday, isn't it? You know? So unless Saturday is the weekend, Saturday... Unless Saturday is the weekend and Sunday is the beginning. Mm. Oh well. That was boring. That, that really was boring. It's a bit chilly here today or tonight. It's three minutes past, uh, 13 minutes past 3 a.m. I'm recording this. And, uh,. I had a nice little lay down with Andre on the bed. It was really nice. So I kind of fell asleep with him on the bed for probably an hour or so, maybe two hours, I don't know. It was lovely. I like it when he's on the bed with me. But he was already on the bed. And uh, I think, yeah, I think so. But no, I quite like it. I like having him there. Especially when he's really tired. In fact, there's one point, I think it was earlier today, and I laid down for a bit. And I like to have little... <sighs> have little moments of relaxation, just lay down. And, and he was at the bottom of the bed, and I basically, I dragged him, not, not badly, but like, pulled him up to the top of the bed and it was almost contorted his body and his hand was up there and his little tongue was sticking out and he was so fast asleep that he hadn't even noticed because sometimes if I touch him when he's asleep it's like he wakes up but other times other times I could literally I don't know play a drum in his ear and it wouldn't affect him it gets so so deeply engrossed in his in his sleeping so let me have a look um, oh I've got a message let me see what my message is I haven't been on Facebook all day What does the message say? I don't know. How could I know? I don't know why I would know if I didn't look at it before. So let's see what this message is. So I wanted to give it a... Okay. Uh... So I just want to do a little shout out to Katie. Uh, 
Um, it's okay. Oh. Oh, well, so Katie, thank you, Katie. Uh, big shout out to Katie, Gail, and Monica. She uh, said a few things. We said, uh, uh, Monica says, the story about the mouse chick <laughs> had me laughing so hard. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for all you do. Thanks, Monica. Yeah, she's. Uh, it's quite weird because I was I was talking about uh, a lady that was on my university course, and she was tiny, tiny. I mean, not I mean we I could see her. I mean she wasn't that small, but she was pretty little, and she just had a really little voice as well. And um, but she just absolutely hated me from the beginning. It's weird, but then it's strange. I'd, yeah, I, it's not that I think everyone should like love me, but I do find it weird when someone occasionally just she is almost like she had no reason. I was thinking she's treating me. She's she treated me like I'm. Like a really, really awful ex-boyfriend, you know? It's like, what have I really done to piss her off? I mean, what, really? What, did what did I murder her in a previous life? I mean, you know, it's like, what on earth? So, uh, so that's that. I had... What other messages have I got? Oh! <laughs> Notifications on my Let Me Boy You To Sleep. Oh, by the way, I've got a Let Me Boy You To Sleep Facebook page specifically for. I was going to say Facebook then, specifically for the Let Me Boy You To Sleep. The internet's going slow. And uh, I suppose the benefit of liking that page and following that page is you don't get to see all the other stuff. Uh, the other podcasts that I post onto the the other two pages I've got. So I've got the private page. It's not private, like the personal page. And then I've got the what have I got? So I've got the facebook.com forward slash Jason Newland Hypnosis. That's my normal page. And I've got, how many people have I got on there? I've got 3,916 friends on there. Over time, um, Basically, I don't add anybody unless they ask to be added as a friend. So that's that's the only people that I have on there. So it's, there's still people on there that I don't sort of have regular contact with. But there's a I don't know what percentage follow what I do because in the early days of Facebook, I went onto all the groups, mainly the chronic pain groups, and I just added people. You know, I'm talking like the early days of Facebook um, in order to try and uh, promote what I did and a bit by bit they've kind of disappeared and uh, hundreds and hundreds of other people have like added me or you know to because they want to kind of follow what I do but there's still going to be people on there that I've probably never had contact with which is kind of weird, really, isn't it? But right, my Facebook page, which is the Jason Leland Hypnotist page, is facebook.com forward slash Jason Leland Hypnotist, and that is my 
uh, hypnosis page. If that makes, I don't know what that sense. It says 29,551 people like this page and 29,274 people follow it. Follow it. And out of those, not that many people from my other page. So there's only 245 friends follow me on that page. But I get, I never add anybody. I can't because it's a, it's a page. Uh, so it's basically people following me or liking that page. Um, how do I see what the stats is? Should be able to see the stats. I wonder how. Should give me the stats. Uh, page, page likes. There's not loads. Not huge amounts, but... Uh, it's continuous, it's just, so between, in the last, yeah, in the last week, I've had 17 page likes, so that's, that's only, it's a small, small amount, but it's, you know, it's continuous, and then I've had 17 page followers, so I don't know where they're coming from, they're just finding me, maybe from my website, or who knows, Um so that's that's nice. I don't know if I. C there used to be a way of actually seeing the people. Um, does it show it? Page likes. Does it tell me who it is? No, doesn't tell me who it is at all. It gives me stats like uh, organic and paid likes. Well, none of them are paid. But. Yeah, I've already I've had some unlikes as well. So it's you know, it's it's that's the way it goes, it's kind of <laughs> I don't know. People generally seem to add you know, follow me on there or on my other one as well. Twitter now Twitter, let me show you Twitter. Oops. Got a bit of a sniffle. Right, let's have a look. On my Twitter page, it is twitter.com forward slash Jason Newland. And I post every single thing that I do on there. Not thing I do. Not like, it's not like the old, old days. Oh, I'm on the toilet now. Just had a bit of cake. Just cut me toenails, and that was the early days of Twitter. But uh, no, this I just post all of my new recordings. That's what I do. I always post them on there, and I get. I've had a couple of followers. The last two days, I've had a couple of new followers. PSX Stocks and Josephine Waters. Hello, Josephine Waters. Um, so I don't necessarily know where people are coming from as far as how they they might you know got my Twitter from my website but I don't have many followers on Twitter I just I don't I don't really put any energy into it uh, maybe maybe I should I don't know How many? I've got 655 followers. Um, yeah. So it just it goes up very slowly. Yeah. So yeah, it's... Uh, well, it's not a bad little page, really. I need to change a few bits, I think, though. Yeah, yeah. And I've uh, I've used, I've gone through it in the past and deleted lots of uh, are you uh, okay 
So that's that Twitter. Let's have a look what the Facebook page is. So there is some news. There is some news on my front. Now let me just take it off my chest. There it is. It's on my front. Oh dear. Um, there is... I've been making changes to my website. I hope you don't mind the clicking. It's... Why do laptops have clicking on the on the thing? On the um the mouse. I wish I could remember that, that lady's name from the course that I did. I could use, uh, use her name instead of mouse. Pretty get complaint. I don't like your clicking. <laughs> no one's ever complained about a farting though, isn't it weird? I thought that would be something. I'd like, oh. But you wouldn't complain, but then if you came and saw me in person, can you imagine sitting there, 200 people watching me and I'm on stage and suddenly I let rip. And everyone is running out screaming. Whole place full of smoke. So what I've done is this. Let me tell you. Well, first of all, let me tell you about last week's stats because it was quite good. It was. I was fairly pleased. So it starts on Sunday for some reason on Spreaker and that's who hosts my um, podcasts. I know they're, they're available uh, and you're possibly listening to this on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or CastBox or various you know apps and stuff. But Spreaker is where they're ho hosed. <laughs> a Spreaker is where they're hosed down. Spreaker is where they're housed, where they live. So Sunday, between Sunday the 12th and Saturday the 18th, which was yesterday, these are the stats. Uh, Sunday the 12th of January 2020, I had 2,645 downloads. Monday the 13th, 4,368 downloads. Tuesday the 14th, 4,232 downloads. Wednesday the 15th of January, 4,271 downloads. Thursday, I had a very exciting day. I, uh, I had a semi um, very good day. Uh, it's Thursday the 16th of January, 5,094. I was, oh, I was, I was all over the place with excitement. Friday the 17th, I had 4,572. Again, really, what's that? Yeah, that's, that's a really good day. It's the second highest day of the week. And then Saturday, 3,377. And what's really weird is, I don't know if it's weird, but once I hit the 5,000, which I have done before, well, I've had over 10,000 before, but that was more due to, probably because I've uploaded a, a few recordings more than normal. But, I didn't do anything particularly different this week at all. I just did a standard thing, I think, pretty much. So having reached over 5,000 on a kind of average day, uh, and then re do, you know, in the day before that, 4,271, like 4,000 all the way, 
and then to go below 4,000 to 3,377, it almost felt a little bit rubbish. But 3,377 downloads is actually, it's, it's okay, you know, it's not, I don't think I can really be moaning too much. And yesterday, Sunday the 19th of January, I had 3,522 downloads. But the weekends usually are a bit quieter. And today so far at 3.31, I've had 261 downloads. So there's a few things I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a lot, so I'm going to tell you everything. Um, some stuff that's happened this week has got me thinking a bit. Um... Uh, regarding, you know, like my neighbour uh, who passed away, and and just, and she was younger than me, and um, that doesn't, that it's not relative, but it's it's personally relative, because it, it kind of gets me thinking, because I can more, I can relate more, you know, I've got someone that's living in a flat on their own, I'm living in a flat on my own, we're literally living in the same building. Um, could hear each other f toilets flush you know S so sharing the same space in a sense but not you know not literally it kind of got me thinking a bit about my what do I want to do or how do I want to live my life and what I want to do is this I mean this, I'm, I'm not about to give you a big list, I mean this, I want to do this, uh, not just these recordings, but you know, the other recordings I do as well, relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic, and that's got a following, um, the deep sleep whisper hypnosis, uh, sleep hypnosis weekly, as well as I want to do more chronic pain relief stuff, and I want to do lots of things. But there's always that underlying worry of like financially, um, you know, oh, where am I going? And it's like, oh, I don't have enough to buy any, buy any shoes. I need some shoes. If, if what if it snows? I've got a hole in my shoe. I can't, that's not going to be any good. And I suppose just to say for anyone, but I'm just thinking, I don't really want to. I don't want to be that like that anymore. I want to be able to do this, but at the same time, um, tr you know, have a a lifestyle of some kind to be able to have to be able to go on holiday maybe now and then. And the good thing about doing this is I can take you with me, just like you can take me with you. Uh, Natalie is travelling on holiday on a vacation and hello Natalie and Natalie is taking me with her my friend Angela in Australia she took me on holiday with her I think it was 2009 and she sent me videos and she sent a she was on a boat and she sent me a video uh, of her and he said there you with there you are you with me you're sitting down in the sun and it was her pod, um, iPod. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I go on holiday with you and maybe I can take you on holiday with me. So I could go, and I don't mean like traveling the world necessarily, but I'd like to go to Torquay, which made someone laugh the other day when I told them. You know, because it's, it's in England, but it's just a beautiful place absolutely beautiful place and it's I'd like to because then I can I've got something to talk about I know that these are supposed to be a bit boring but I can find things much more boring to talk about 
will have actually experienced something. If that makes sense. So if I'd been into a, a, a restaurant and had a meal, I can talk about that and be and have, make that a recording about that meal or about the waitress or waiter or the service I got or the kind of cutlery I got, the plate. And um, when I say the waiter or the waitress, I don't mean personal stuff, but you know, if they've been rude to me or if they've... Um, they made me laugh or something like that so that that would be I think that would be interesting for me and extra boring for you so I'm talking, oops god I just knocked something that made me jump made my left left my made my left wrist jump for some reason so yeah, so I'm thinking, how can I do that? And I've been very scared of kind of moving on to the next level with my service to what I do online in a sense of it's growing. And I know that it's going to continue to grow. And the you know it's it's just the way of the internet isn't it even if I even if I stop making recordings I'd still be getting listeners I'd still be getting downloads because new people come along discover it and there's so much to choose from so much to listen to that you know to keep people going for for ages I mean literally nearly a well, 330 hours plus worth of me talking just in this podcast. So, you know, it's, I might be reaching 4,000 a day now, or just under 4,000, maybe just over 4,000, but there will come a time when I'm at 10,000 a day, and if I stick around long enough, there'll be time when I'm at 100,000 a day, maybe a million a day, I don't know, but it just, you know, and it grows exponentially. It's, it's quite weird the way it, it never goes below a certain number now. It never goes, it can never, never goes below 2,000. The next say the next statement makes no sense at all, and it never goes below one thousand. <laughs> obviously, if it doesn't go below two thousand, but I'm not sure why. I don't. I can't figure it out really. But you know, I do. I care about what I do, and at the same time, you know, like I have, I get a little bit of criticism now and then, and I do take it to heart but it doesn't matter. It's not that serious, you know? And I will talk about it on, just like I'll tell, if, I, if I'm going to tell you about the, the nice comments I get, and I do, it only makes sense that I'm going to tell you about the, the comments that perhaps are a bit more, um, I was going to say gruesome, but you know, the, the other comments that are maybe not as um, flattering. But that, that seems like it's a good thing to do because, let's face it, there's always... I, I'm, not really, I'm not even finishing a sentence. I remember years ago at the Buddhist Centre and I was in the ordination process and... I was meeting up with all the members, and we were all in a group, and someone said something. It was like a put down, but like a kind of, I don't know, a veiled put down, but it's like a, it was a gentle put down. And I, my, my response was, I don't want to be perfect. 
and their response was why like you know that's the point of Buddhism which to me it isn't it isn't at all not my wasn't my goal in life to be perfect I don't want to be perfect I never want to be perfect I don't attain that I don't aim for that I want to be I'd like to be better at what I do you know in life uh, I'd like to you know, I'd like to learn more have a better knowledge of stuff have a you know I suppose a uh, um, have a more larger words uh, vocabulary yeah have have a larger vocabulary and um, <laughs> you know I, I'd like to I'd like to know everything about hypnosis. I'd like to know everything about chronic pain relief. I'd like to know everything about every single sleep technique, every single relaxation technique. I'd like to know all that stuff. And I'm learning it as I go. I'm also making it up as I go along. And in that way, I mean making up new techniques based on old techniques and sometimes just based on whatever I'm thinking at the time. So sometimes I'll start a recording and it just comes into my mind and I just say it. And I put trust in my own thoughts. It almost feels like it isn't me. It's like some kind of... Uh, so if I'm doing a, a recording for the Relaxation Stress podcast, sometimes I feel like it's... Uh, a clever version of me or cleverer version of me takes over my brain takes over my mouth and I'm talking and it, it's it's almost trancey a little bit it's uh, the emotions are there and the genuinity <laughs> genuinity genuinity um being genuine, that being real, and I almost don't know where that comes from, but I like that that kicks in, and it's happened hundreds and hundreds of times with recordings over the years, where I just the, the thoughts and ideas just come into my mind there and then because I've really, really, really uh, prepared for what I'm going to do. But saying that, I quite, I quite like the idea of preparing for some stuff. Doing a, a, you know, maybe doing some courses and stuff that I've prepared for. Because I wonder well, what's going to happen, you know, I've got... I think 177 deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings averaging at least 20 minutes each. How can I still keep coming up with new recordings? It's like I don't know how I do it. I don't know how... And, so, and sometimes we sit in there thinking before doing it, what should I do? What shall I, uh, you know, because it's some, some, some kind of imagery or uh, body relaxation, what is it? And sometimes I can't think what to do, so I just press record. And something always comes. So yeah, I just, uh, I'm kind of grateful for that. So the changes I've made are something that I've been moaned at in the past for, but I have to, you know, something I've had to kind of look at. 
so I have re-added the adverts onto the podcasts. So the adverts are only going to be at the very beginning of the podcast episodes, only at the beginning, not the end, only at the beginning. Um, so it just means listening to each individual podcast uh, episode separate. So if you go on ongoing play, you're going to hear the adverts for the next recording which may be a little bit of a different volume because I'm pretty quiet, aren't I, when I'm, when I'm doing these recordings, which is, that's just the way I talk. I'm going to surprise you one day when I come on in and start talking really loudly. <laughs> so yeah, I've got, uh, I added the adverts to the podcast about four hours ago I think three hours ago and the reason for this is I need to do something to cover my costs of running this service just I need to do that I have to have to sort of be proactive with that Andre is he makes his sound He's asleep and I think the two things that he's cutest is how he looks, you know, his little face, but the noises he makes. Because he's so, because when he sneezes, it's. I don't know if you ever heard him sneeze or seen him on video sneezing or anything, but he's so got the cutest little sneeze. And probably when he's asleep as well, when he's got his little tongue sticking out and he's just happy. He looks happy, I hope he's happy. That's all a, that's all a father can hope for really, isn't it? He's my son and all I can hope is that he's happy and healthy and he can't tell me either of those things because he, I suppose he can yeah, I don't know. He seems happy. I imagine it's a little bit boring for him, though. You know, he's living with the most boring person on the planet, so it can't be that exciting for him. <laughs> but, you know, he does... I chase him around every now and then. He loves, loves... Did I say new and then? No, no you then. Now and then, and he runs behind the cooker, and I chase him, and then I come back into the living room, and I, I look, I just look over the, well not over the wall because there's a ceiling, but you know, round the corner, round the bend of the uh, doorway, and I just watch him, and he's looking around to see where I am, and he like creeps up to the door. <laughs> Sometimes I can grab him and give him a big cuddle. Other times I like have a little teddy bear thing, and I'll I've got it on a bit of um, it's not string actually. It's it's not really a teddy bear. It's like a multi. It's like a almost like a rainbow um, thing. I don't know what it is. It's like a cuddly toy. And it's got lots of different colours and it's got a tail and connected to its tail is um, my dressing gown belt. So what I do is I get that and I, I kind of, he grabs hold of it and fights it and stuff. But you know what, I think I might just bang the microphone, sorry. Well, didn't bang it, but you know what I mean. Bashed it. He, some of his toys he doesn't play around with. Like, he, he doesn't let me touch. Like, his snake, I might mention this, he's got a snake. And if I touch it, he's hidden it. It's in the shed. 
my shed. It's, it's, my, it's going to be my recording studio. It cost me quite a bit of money to get that all set up, and it's not. I've not even done the soundproofing yet. But he thinks it's his. He think he think he really thinks that I bought a shed, paid loads of money to get it put up, so that he can go in there and hide his toys, and go to sleep in there, and who knows what else he's done in there. No, Andre, no. But he thinks it's his. Anyway, the snake. It's not a real snake, it's just a... It's probably the length of my leg. If I touch it, if I... I'm whispering it. If I touch it, not my leg, the snake. If I touch the, the snake, he grabs it off me and runs away and hides it from me. Not as a game... Listen, it's not a game. It's not that he doesn't want me to chase him. He wants me to leave his snake alone. And I never ever see him with the snake. But I think he spends time with it. So it's nowhere to be seen. I don't know. I think it's probably in his shed. It might be behind the door somewhere. He's hidden it. Because he doesn't want me going near it. I don't know why. Maybe that's where he stashes all his drugs. I don't, who knows? He's, I don't know why he doesn't want me near it. He's literally so possessive over that snake. And my friend said, maybe he thinks of it as his child. That's his, that's his little baby. And he's the parent of that snake. I suppose uh, well, maybe that's his teddy bear. You know, like a a small child has a, a teddy bear. Maybe that's his teddy bear. So he's got an emotional bond with it. So what else was I going to say? Yeah, so I've got the adverts back on. Um, because I need to... I just need to get the... Cover the costs of running this service. And maybe looking towards um, towards growing things as well, you know, for the future. So, the next thing I did is... Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Right, oh yeah, okay. I have now made the four of my podcasts. You can now download the podcasts one pound each. The, the recordings each for one pound. Still free to stream, so you can still still listen to them on the podcast uh, hosts. You know, Spotify, wherever, Spreaker, Stitcher. You can still. If you go to my website, click on the latest recording. For example, relaxation, hypnosis, stress, anxiety and panic attacks, number 77. Uh, that's from the 19th of January, so yesterday. It says here one pound, but if you click on it, it gives you the option to add it to the cart for one pound. But just below that, you can play it. You can stream it for free. So that's the situation at the moment. That's the new situation where uh, by by purchasing uh, the recordings, there's, there's a few benefits um, to you and to me. So the benefits to me would obviously that you're paying for it, paying for that recording, and it help will help me cover the costs and also move towards um, creating my own employment. Does that make sense? So I'm kind of trying to create my own job. And I've spent 14 years doing this. And 
it was I had no intention of trying to make it a job at all when I first started and I never really wanted it to be but then I've kind of I've come to the conclusion that actually isn't it better for me to do something that I love doing as a job than to go and get a job elsewhere doing something that I'm not particularly happy doing which will also affect the recordings I make because if I get a job that I'm uh, like with high stress levels or something that I might end up doing uh, or something that's just really not um, stimulating me chances are I won't want to make recordings I definitely won't be able to spend the amount of time that I can at the moment or making as many recordings as I have I've never made as many recordings in a year as I have done the last couple of years so it's um, but, there's, but I don't want to be unemployed I mean technically I'm on the sick I've got because of the bipolar and stuff but you know it's still minimum money coming in and it doesn't allow for luxuries like uh, clothes like not clothes but you know new clothes and sort of decent stuff like that or a new carpet for my flat which I need um, a new chair you know, those you know it's okay when I've got this stuff like I've got a television it's fine while I've got the television but if the television broke I can't replace it or if the washing machine broke it's great having a washing machine but if that broke down which I guess eventually it will I can't replace it I'm going to have to do my washing in the bath in the bathtub so I, you know it's I guess seeing the future a little bit thinking well actually I deserve a bit I deserve to have a a fairly a decent lifestyle don't I I mean everyone does so that's where I'm going with this I've already I've been my website has been a shop it's been a shop from for quite a while it's just been free you know you could download everything for free now um, I started with the top the four um, the three podcasts three two one Whee. no what is it one two four podcasts that are my most popular podcasts that I produce recordings for regularly so they're a pound for each recording but as I said you can also listen to them for free but there will be an advert on there so if you want to listen to my recordings without adverts um, you can download it and also you can have it on playback so you can listen to it over and over again or you can have you can download a few recordings and have them playing with, you know, without any adverts on them and even some podcasts won't always have adverts on them um, because uh, not every recording plays an advert on it but the next one might or it might do the, you know it's uh, I don't know what the ratio is that um, that have adverts actually placed on them but I can give you an idea where is it if I go back to December okay so six seven that's weird fifth five Two pound fifty. Well, I was still getting. I thought I stopped the adverts in November. November. <laughs> December. Two 
December 2018. That's, two, that's December 2018. Wow, December 2019. Okay, so I stopped the adverts the 7th of December 2019. But before that, I was getting. Well, they've even changed the stats on this now. They keep changing things. So impressions. So on Sunday the 1st of December there's 2,124 adverts I think. Um, you know spread over the podcasts that were the recordings that were listened to. Monday 22nd 2,900. Uh, it's impressions so I'm guessing you know, it's not like impressions as in Donald Duck and I'm trying to think, you know, when you do an impression of someone. Yeah. 2,859 impressions on Tuesday the 3rd of December. So yeah, I really don't know. I'll give you an example for a whole month. For a whole month of November. Um, yeah, November 2019. I had 68,872 impressions, which I think is, that's how many adverts were played. Six, 69,872. Wow. So I suppose quite a few, but, so I'm, I'm guessing it's the majority of the recordings will have an advert on them at the very beginning. Uh, and it's going to stay that way as well. So I know that's not it's not everyone's cup of tea, but um, we'll all get used to it. And also you've got the choice. You can download the recordings. All of them are available to download on my website for just one pound. So my initial target is to cover the costs of running this service and then when I hit that target my next target will be to work towards earning a living to cover my costs of my rent and my food and my bills uh, so that is um, that is the target and I, I set a target a few years ago I decided a few years ago that I wanted to be earning a living and maybe uh, earn, manage to earn a living doing this by the time I was 50. I didn't want to be unemployed at 50. And I'm 49 now and there's uh, just over seven months before I'm 50 years old. because it's end of August so it's now near the end of January so I want to be I want to be so by the end by August I'd like to be doing this full time that is my goal with your help so I kind of feel as well that I've not I've not really, I've not reached, I've probably not even reached 10% of my potential as far as recordings go. And there's a lot more to come. There's a lot more, uh, I think I can get a lot better at what I do if I could take away the, uh, some of those distractions you know, sort of, uh, that come with being on benefits, you know, unemployed or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so that's what I've done. I hope it's okay. Uh, it's still a free service because you can listen to all my recordings for free. So that is free, you know, it's the, the purchasing of the 
recordings, downloading them. That's an option. And the adverts. Anything you get for free normally has an advert. Um, but I know the adverts, they're not too, I've listened to them, they're not too bad. And they're usually aimed at the area that they're playing. So, you know, they're aimed at the country and so it should be okay. Um, but I'm trying to turn this into a, I suppose a career. Is, is that the right word? doesn't feel right, career, but I guess it is my career. And it has been for many years. It's just been an unpaid career. It's been voluntary work. And one of the one of the good things about voluntary work is it can often lead to paid work. So I've I've given fourteen years to voluntary work. And maybe now is time for it to um, transform into paid work. And at the same time, still offer the free service. So you can still stream and listen free. Um, the only thing I would say is if, if I'm not able to cover the costs and earn a living, you know, be able to cover my living costs and earn a living out of the pod, uh, the the service. Then I have to, I have to sort of relook at the the free podcasts and maybe reduce the amount of podcasts, episodes, and recordings. So. You know, but at the moment, I want them all to be on there. I love the idea that everything can be streamed for free. That's something I think is really groovy, especially with with the internet now. You know, with mobile phones and um, uh, tablets and stuff. And basically, if you go on my website, it's almost like a podcast anyway. You just click on what you want and you play it. Or you download it. It's just it's really easy. It's it's not really any different from being on a podcast. Um, so yeah, and also if you're playing an individual episode or recording, as far as I'm aware, you'll just listen to that one recording. I don't think it will take you to anywhere else. Uh, so. So that's what I'm going to do. The other thing, the other thing, possibly, is, I say possibly, it's very likely, maybe not right now, but it's likely that I'm going to look into doing it. Andre's just appeared, having a good scratch. I go to pick him up and he runs off. One of the things I'm thinking of doing is, and it's something that I've been asked for years to do and I've always said no. And your mind could be going like, I wonder what it could be, what could it be? Other people might think, uh, it doesn't sound like Jason to say no to anything. Where are you? What are you talking about? So, I've looked into it over the last couple of years. So there's a possibility I'm going to offer the service where you can purchase a CD version of the recording and have it sent to you in the post. So you can have it on CD. And... I realise that you know not everyone uses CDs anymore, uh, but it could be nice to have it as a like a physical thing. You know, something of mine, not I've mine, but my something that you can have on your shelf, and you know, even perhaps even 
sign copies. I don't know if anyone would want a sign copy of a CD, but so that's what I'm thinking of doing: having CD versions for people that perhaps don't want to rely on uh, the internet or on pod, you know, their phones or stuff like that. Another thing I was thinking of doing, but this is expensive. It's an expensive thing, but I could offer my recordings on vinyl. It's possible to do it. And again, that would be, I suppose that would be almost like a novelty item. But record players have survived. You know, I know not many people have probably got one, but they've had, they keep having resurgence you know they keep coming back into fashion so I might look at maybe making a few vinyls as well maybe just as a like a little I was going to say a little snatch of them but that's not the right word is it batch that's it batch like a nice batch of vinyl records like a collector's edition or something I don't know but I might I'm looking into this because there's some automated systems that will do it but again that costs me money to do it so I have to charge you know it's not I can't offer that as a free service and another thing that I'm thinking of doing is offering you the opportunity to purchase a a flash drive with all of the episodes of you know a particular podcast so let's say the, this one let me bore you to sleep or 300 and whatever recordings so you could uh, plug it into your laptop and then you could just transfer whatever ones you wanted onto your phone or onto your tablet I was thinking also maybe making available different versions of that so maybe some for uh, Apple you know for an iPhone one that you can plug in so like a plug into your iPhone also thinking of maybe selling an actual um, I don't know what you call it um, what's it you play podcasts on Cause they used to be called pod Pod, pod, P O D. Oh wow! <laughs> Didn't expect to see that. I'll move away from that. Um, what is it? A podcast player. Or oh, MP3 player. Yeah, it's an MP3 player, so I suppose, I know people use their phones, but I could perhaps um, offer an MP3 player that you can have. With all of my, you know, all of the recordings on. So you could just have that one thing. And I've been looking online, I'm looking online now, but I have in the past as well and it's about finding one that's not too expensive to purchase and then add all of my all of the recordings onto it and then send it to you in the post so that'd be like a um, there'd be then postage added onto it so I don't know kind of what sort of prices I could do it at but it would still work out you know, a heck of a lot cheaper than buying them individually. 
So yeah, I'm kind of looking at different different things, different ways of doing it, um, in order to keep this going, to keep it all um, working for the future. So yeah, so I'm, I hope you don't mind me sharing some of those plans with you. So that's that's where I am. So there's adverts on the podcasts on the recordings at the beginning only at the beginning you're not going to be interrupted in the middle or at the end yet yeah, if you let it play on to the next recording on the if there's a if you're listening to a, like a list of things you may have an advert come on at the beginning of the next recording So a way around that would be probably to get the MP3 player from me, or to, if you know, once I make that available, or to download the recordings, so that there's no adverts, because there's no adverts on any of the recordings that you download from me. So yeah, so. Just, just let me know. Well, you haven't got to let me know what you think, but you can let me know what you think by action. Uh, by, I'll see um, what process there is and what, you know, how it goes. And I've still got quite a few recordings. I've got 295, 295 recordings of these let me boy to sleep recordings to actually convert to one pound from being free so I probably won't have had that done today so make the most of it get on here and download them <laughs> so anyway I'm going to go uh, I hope you have a great week it's Monday now um I'll be here again tomorrow talking more stuff about stuff and have a a good Monday have a good week ahead of you keep safe and remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy do something nice for yourself this week Give yourself a good week. Lots of love.